Hi everyone, it's Pebbles and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has been doing well. I have been on a little hiatus because I got married. So I am now married and so happy. I will be sharing some photos as soon as I get them. Might not be for a while, but just wanted to let you know that I was super busy with work. Then we went on our honeymoon and the wedding itself. So anyways, today is going to be my empties video. I know that a lot of you really enjoy the empties videos and so do I. I love watching to see what people have gone through. So here is my bag of empties and I was unable to do one last month because I was so busy. So this is pretty much two months worth of empties. So if you're interested in checking out what I went through in the past two months, please stay tuned. All right, so the first thing I'm going to share with you is my Nexus Salon Hair Care Youth Renewal Shampoo. This is the actual shampoo. I'm almost finished the conditioner. This was pretty nice. I, I got this at Walmart about, I think here in Canada, I spent about $10 for the shampoo and $10 for the conditioner. It was good. I'm still trying to search for the Holy Grail shampoo for my hair and I'm sad to say that this is not it, but it was good. It, it helps it helps keep your hair clean. It does make your hair shiny. It was manageable, but I'm still looking for something a little bit better. So I'm on the quest. If you guys have a really good shampoo and conditioner that you can recommend to me for fine, frizzy type hair, that's mature hair, that kind of you know, gets brittle and everything. I would really like to know. And I'm not gonna lie, I prefer salon grade shampoos. This one is a higher end drugstore type of shampoo, but I'm still looking for that holy grail. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'm open to your comments. Please leave them below and help a sister out. The next thing was this conditioner that came with one of the uh, preference home hair color systems. I no longer color my hair at home. I found that it was damaging my hair where I was experiencing significant hair loss. And this is just my personal experience. And as soon as I stopped using uh, home hair uh, coloring systems, my hair, you know, I've been using also a hair system treatment, but I just felt that that contributed to the hair loss and I've experienced less hair loss since I've stopped doing that. But these conditioners that come with the hair uh, coloring kits are amazing. I use this when I travel and this is the best conditioner I have ever used in my hair. So I have several of these and I really prefer these. I don't know what they are. I can't find them in the drugstore just to buy these type of conditioners, but these are amazing. So finished one of those. The next thing we're gonna go into is skincare products. I finished the Studio Beauty Alpha Hydroxy Facial Cream. You can get this at, I think it's CVS or Walgreens in the States, and it's a white facial cream. I don't even, I finished it completely, and it helps exfoliate your skin. It's a moisturizer, it has um, 8% AHA, which is a good concentration for the alpha hydroxy acid. And I did find that this worked really nice on my face. I felt that it did moisturize and it did exfoliate and my skin had a nice smooth complexion. And this is this big jar here, which is four ounces. You can pick this up at Walgreens for like, I think it's like $10. So it does do a great job. And uh, would I repurchase this? Absolutely. The next product is an Oz Natural Vitamin C Serum. I have started incorporating serums with my skincare routine. So I use vitamin C and alpha hydroxy acid and com the combination together have been amazing. I really have noticed a difference. And I've also, my, a girlfriend of mine let me borrow her new face machine prior to my wedding. And honestly, my marionette lines and my jowls got lifted and I'm purchasing one of them. I will have a total review on that product. It is the holy grail product. Even Brian, my husband now, noticed a difference in my face. He's like, oh my God, that machine, honest God, it's expensive. Like, it can be anywhere from four to five hundred dollars depending on which unit you buy but it makes a huge difference so that coupled with my serums i've noticed a huge difference in my face 
but um, I really liked this Oz Naturals and has 20% amino blend of um, vitamin C is 20% and then it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and ferulic acid. I got this on Amazon and I think I paid like 20 bucks. I don't even think it was 20. I think it was like maybe $13.99. I would repurchase this one. Um, I'm just playing around with different types of vitamin C's but I liked this Oz Natural one. The next skincare product are these sample Glam Glow Bright Mud Eye Treatments. So one is for each eye and you just um, basically you stick them around the bottom of your eyes to brighten your eyes. And I used this before the day before my wedding and honestly it does brighten your skin, your face, your eyes. I mean it was amazing. I also used the mud mask from Glam Glow and my skin was oh, like I, I honestly it took off like 10 years off my face and I highly recommend the glam glow products I personally have had great experience with them and trust me the day of your wedding you want to look great you want to look flawless and these things really helped with that so I did really enjoy these under eye uh, treatment mug 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 shots mud packs here the next thing is another Glam Glow product. It's just a sample that I had, and it is the uh, cleanser. It's the Daily Hydrating Cleanser, and this was really nice as well. I used this the morning of my wedding, and I really enjoyed this as well. So that's this. And I mean, it's just a cleanser, and I just had this small little package to try it out. But I enjoy the Glam Glow line. I like them. Then I was, I was sent these, I'm going to do a separate review on them, and I used three of them. I actually let my mom try one of them, and, and she really enjoyed them. These are the Uveance Intensive Eye Treatment Pads, and there's two pads that are saturated with the product, and then you just place them under your eyes, and they basically moisturize underneath your eyes and just refresh in the area. And um, I have three, and I will do an independent review on these, but they were very refreshing. They give you um, not a long last effect but if you're going somewhere special and you just want to have brighter eyes and more refreshed look under your eyes these are great so they're kind of like a temporary fix but like just like the sheet masks but they're for under underneath your eyes I really like them and I will do an independent review on these for you the next things we're gonna go through are scents so I finished, this is from uh, Fruits of Passion, and it is the Rhythm Tropical um, Home Spray, and this was really a nice air freshener, and it came in this really pretty bottle, and unfortunately, the Fruits of Passion store near my home closed down, so you can purchase these online, or if you live in an area that has a Fruits of Passion, these are really nice air fresheners. Um, well, room sprays, I should say, and they're about $20. They are a little expensive, but they have a nice fragrance to them. Right now in Canada, I know that the only stores available, I think, are in Quebec and in Vancouver, and there might be one in Manitoba. But here in Ontario, I, I think there may be in the northern part, they still might have some open, but in southern Ontario, they've closed them up. So that's kind of sad because I really liked that room spray. But finished that. Finished one of my wallflowers. This is the pineapple scent. I use one of these like in each of my bathrooms and I typically finish one each month. Like so I finish two but I only have one that's finished. These I'm finding, I don't know if it's my diffuser that's kind of not working as well but at the beginning they smell very fragrant and as the month goes by you can hardly smell it. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I need to change my actual adapter, but I do, I'm a fan of these and I have been a fan of them. So that was the pineapple scent. The next thing is the Love Peach and Joy Bath and Body Hand Lotion. This was really nice. I'm a big fan of the Bath and Body Hand Lotions. I purchase them whenever they're on this, you get them on sale or on clearance. I try to get the best deal possible and I usually buy them on their semi-annual sale and stock up. So this was part of my stocking up collection. I have, I have quite a bit, but uh, this was a really nice sweet scent. So if you're a fan of the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers, this one here is really nice. Keeping within the scents, we're now gonna go with perfumes that I've finished. 
Um, basically, I finished just like little samples, and this is the Dolce Cabana Guilty. Isn't this a cute little bottle? I got this at Sephora. Um, I think I paid 250 points for this, and I'm a big fan of Dolce Cabana anything. I love the Italian designers. I love Dolce Gabbana scents, and this one here did not fail me. Uh, it's a really nice, um, mm, it's a sexy smell. I don't know what the notes are, but you can go to those perfume sites and they'll tell you what the notes are, but I'm a fan of it, and I finished that sample. I also finished the sample uh, Flower by Kenzo, and it is just this little sample that, that you get um, I think I got these at, at Sephora as well. And this is a floral um, scent. And I really enjoyed this. And I found it really nice for the summertime. So that's what the bottle looks like when you buy it in the store. This was really nice. It's a nice, front, fresh, summery floral scent. So if you're into florals, you might want to check this out. And what's nice about Sephora is that any sense that you want to try because sometimes you try it on at the store But you really can't get an idea if the perfume's going to smell good on you. They'll give you a little vial of Sample of the perfume. Uh, I have a couple that I wanted to try out So did Brian and they filled up the vial for you and it gives you at least a week's worth of um, The perfume so that you can try it out and if you like it then you can go out and purchase it instead of investing a hundred bucks for a perfume and then find out oh you know I liked it in the store I liked it then but now it doesn't smell good so at least it gives you at least a week to try it out so I highly recommend doing that before making that big investment all right where are we going next well we'll go to makeup because I have a lot of body stuff so the makeup that I finished um, I finished a Milani Eye Tech Perfection Liquid Liner. This was good, but you know what? I'm going to stick with the higher end liquid liners such as the Stila as well, and um, the Kat Von D Tattoo. This goes on beautifully. Uh, initially, it goes on nice and smooth. It's got the felt tip applicator to put it on so you can, you know, if you're not too good at putting liquid liner, uh, this actually helps. But the thing is, it fades. So, you know, at the end of eight hours, it, it looked like I had a gray eyeliner instead of black. So I do not think I will repurchase this because honestly, I want my eyeliner to last me the entire day and this just does, doesn't do it. So I would not repurchase that. The next product is from Smashbox. I've had this for a long time and I just wanted to get through it. I have gotten through the wax portion of it, but not the powder. This is the eyebrow, um, the eyebrow product from um, Smashbox. And I think this is in the taupe. It's called Brow Tech for, and it, the color is taupe. So you, and I have dark eyebrows, as you can see right here. Like, look how dark, they're pretty much black. And this, to me worked nicely because it didn't make my eyebrows look like groucho marks and it was a soft look to my eyebrows and then I always love the product with the wax so this was really good but it is old now so I am going to toss it and I finished pretty much I finished the wax on it so I am going to let this go but it was really nice. Would I repurchase and recommend it? Yes but I have tons of eyebrow products right now so I'm not going to be purchasing this again anytime soon, but if you're interested in trying it out, I would recommend it. Now, this pretty much, I'm going to toss it because, again, I've had it for a long time. I did do a really good dent on it. If you've seen some of my videos in the past, you would have seen that this was like full when I started it and at the beginning of the year. And this is Mineral Glow from Pure, and this was a full product. I pretty much hit pan. I've got a, a little bit here, but you know what? I have so much bronzers right now that I'm okay with tossing this. I feel like I got my money's worth on this. As you can see, like this was like, don't not domed, but it was right to the top and it was full. And I did a good job finishing this. And I am the queen of bronzers. I always bronze my face every single day. And this was really nice. It gives you a natural look. I got this at the home shopping channel like years ago and I'm like well I better use it so at least I, I'm using my product I feel like I did like I said and now it's time to say goodbye so this is pure it's the mineral glow and you might want to try it out the next thing is the Rimmel Acopalypse 
and this is in the color Solstice. Solstice. I kept this in my office and basically it's got a doe foot applicator. It is like a lip gloss, lips, liquid lipstick, but it's got, I'm peeling from my vacation guys. It's terrible. I have been moisturizing, but I'm still peeling. It's, it's horrendous. But anyways, here is the color. It's a really pretty color. I would never repurchase or recommend these only because the smell is horrendous. Um, they don't last on your lips either. So if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that lasts, this is not going to be it. And if the smell is really, really bad. I have like four other ones that I'm trying to get through. I have a whole video of lip products that I'm trying to finish by Christmas. I finished one that I think I took on more than I should because I had like 20 lipsticks and there's no way I'm going to finish all of them. <laughs> and then you get sick of the colors I picked. So anyways, this one here, there's a little bit left, but I'm, I'm tossing it. And again, that's solstice would not recommend those at all and definitely not repurchasing. I finished the e.l.f. Ma um, makeup remover wipes. This one here, I think you get 20 pre-moisturized -moist um, cloths. These are great. Um, they're great for travel. You only get 20, but I think that these are like $3 and they do a fantastic job. I got these as a gift in my stocking last Christmas and I would highly recommend them. They're inexpensive and they do a good job. All right, now we are going to go into that like body products, things that I used on my body and so and so forth. First thing we're gonna fin we're gonna talk about is my toothpaste. I finished a complete total total Colgate complete. Um, this did a good job. It kept my breath fresh, cleaned my teeth. Um, it says it's whitening. I don't know. My teeth look whiter when I have darker lipstick on. I do need to do my teeth. I want to whiten them and I'm going to have a video coming up on this new system that I'm trying out. So anyways, this finished self-explanatory. It's toothpaste, right? Finished a travel size Sensodyne. I use this on my honeymoon. This is really good if you have sensitive teeth. Sensodyne actually really works on sensitive teeth. So if you're whitening your teeth and you're experiencing sensitivity to hot and cold, Get yourself some Sensodyne, brush your teeth pre and post uh, whitening, and this will definitely help with the sensitivity. Recommend. Okay, I've talked about these in my last video of my empties. These are the Always uh, Discreet Bladder Protection. Now these are kind of, they're, they're basically like a pad, just a little bit more um, thicker than a pad. And it just helps with, you know, any kind of leakage that you might have. <laughs> I know, I know, TMI, TMI. But anyways, guys, if you cough and or sneeze and you have a little bit of like, you know, issues, these are really nice. They're discreet, they're, they keep you fresh and I highly recommend them. They're for, you get 44 in this and they're the always brand. So like I said, we're a bunch of girls here and we gotta help each other out. Finished a Satin Care Oil of Olay um, cream for your legs. What is this called? Like the Gillette uh, shaving cream. I got. The, I brought this on my honeymoon. I got it at the dollar store. Of course, our dollar store, nothing's just a dollar. It was a dollar twenty-five, but it came in handy. And one of these lasted for two weeks, so I thought that was pretty good. And this was nice because it moisturized as you shaved. Finished a Bath and Body Works Paris Amore. Uh, Shower gel, this was really nice. I I do like the um, shower gels from Bath & Body Works. I think they're more for like aesthetics and scent than the actual moisturizing factor. I feel that they don't really moisturize as much as I would like, but they're pretty if you have guests over and you wanna put something pretty in the shower. These are nice to have and they're good for travel. So I do like them. I They're not my favorite but they're okay would I repurchase them yes probably um but I'm not going to purchase a whole bunch of them and use them daily these are just kind of like if you have friends and family that are staying over or you know you want something pretty in your bath finished a bath and bodies work capri seaside citrus body cream I loved this this is a great scent for the summertime it's got sense of I feel like it's orange and lemon and it's just a really nice 
beachy type of smell I loved this and if it comes back out this year I would buy this again the triple moisture creams are really good for dry skin I find that they're more emollient um, if you suffer from more of a dry skin type of body like I do oil of Olay. this is the ultra moisture body low um, shower gel this is my holy grail love it I feel that I my skin is nice and moisturized right now I'm an alligator because look at this it's horrible terrible but um <laughs> I like we went to Jamaica so you know you want to get a tan and I did get a tan as you can see but anyways now I'm peeling because it's you know it's winter well it's fall here and it's cold so anyways this is really good highly recommend moisturizes cleanses leaves your body hydrated for like I'd say the whole day and night um yeah and this has I think uh I think there's shea butter yeah there's shea butter in this so I usually get this at BJ's Costco or something like that where you get three and it's a better value so would recommend the oil of belay I got this as a gift last year. This is from The Body Shop. It is a glazed apple body polish. It's kind of like a scrub and body wash in one. And this was, has a really nice scent. It really did exfoliate your skin and leave your skin soft. Um, would I go out and look for this to purchase it? Probably not, to be honest with you. But it was nice to have, and I appreciated this as a gift. So that was that finished my deodorant now I've changed deodorants because I don't want deodorants that have aluminum and the natural ones just don't do it for me I still feel like I stink so I am starting to I have started to use the old spice bear glove it's a men's deodorant but it's just deodorant it doesn't have the antiperspirant so it doesn't have the aluminum it keeps me dry it keeps me fresh I don't smell and it smells good I, I think it's a unisex type of deodorant. It is the Bear Glove, and it has a nice, nice scent to it. So you don't smell like a man, but you smell, you still stay fresh and dry. So that's what I've been using. Now, this one here has 85 grams, and it is like a gel type of um, deodorant. And honestly, it, it doesn't leave any stains on your clothes, which is another bonus. And this lasted me almost nine months if not ten so you're getting a and this is like three or four dollars you're getting bang for your buck would recommend it ladies if you're trying to look for a an aluminum free deodorant give this a go try it out I don't think you're gonna be disappointed just a tip from me to you finished two razors uh, one is the extreme three I think this is from Gillette or Schick and then the other one is a Bic and this has got like four blades to it I like the four blades being Italian you're a hairy beast and you need to you know shave the forest on the legs so these I always buy the men's because I'm sorry the girls razors are frou-frou for me I need something that's gonna cut through that Shh. so I highly recommend the four blade those are awesome awesome uh, razors I'm tossing these little gloves here. I usually buy them at uh, the body shop at Christmas time because they're on, they go on sale. And these ones here, I know you can wash them and stuff, but I find that the grit on the gloves tend to wear after a while. So I always put these on every day when I go to take my shower and then I put the, the body um, shower gel on the gloves and then I exfoliate my body and cleanse it at the same time so these are amazing love them would repurchase I think they're like five dollars a pair when you buy them at the body shop then when we were on on our honeymoon in Jamaica we went through mass sunscreen so although I've got color <laughs> I did burn a little bit, but I was putting on SPF like there was no tomorrow. But when you're in the pool and in the water, it comes off. You know what? You know the whole thing. So I finished this Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch uh, 30 SPF. This stuff is amazing. It smells like coconut. It smells like the beach. Does a great job. Honestly, I love this. Um, this is my favorite. I used to use the Australian Gold, and this trumps the Australian Gold for me. So finished that. And then we finished two of the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen with 45. This I use like on my Delicate because I don't like getting that really um, too colored. And then um, 
my husband used these as well. These are amazing. Neutrogena is a really good line and they have fantastic um, SPF. So finished two of those. And then the last thing I was a face um, sunscreen from Kula. And I got this on my Ipsy bag when I used to used to subscribe to Ipsy. It has a uh, 20 SPF, but I wasn't a big fan of it. I found it to be runny and not that great. So definitely I would not purchase this or look to go get it or anything like that. So that was a fail for me. So that's it. Those are my empties for two months. I tried to make this quick, but again, it's still a long video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to be doing more videos now that my life seems to be a little bit more, um, less busy, I guess, but it's still busy. I don't know. Anyways, please leave your comments below. I hope everyone has been doing super well and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Ciao for now.